All right, so here we are again. We are back on Idealism Island. This is just to the north of Kingdom Island. And I have been told by others and myself that I am a bit of an idealist myself. <laughs> uh, so I'm a little curious. Maybe this one's going to feel like home to me. Yeah, and I, I like that it's attached to Kingdom Island, yes. but it's not the whole of it. So yes. I, I'm already wrong. But uh, already tell me here. about no. <laughs> Idealism Island. Tell me why that's insufficient for me as a personality. Well, I think the way to frame it is mm. this is Expedition 315, mm. right? So we want to always be prepared. Yep. You ask me a question, I'll have the answer mm -hmm. <laughs> and answer yeah. for you. And answer, yeah. But with gentleness yeah. and respect. Mm. And the, the key to the gentleness and respect aspect of this curriculum mm. is the bridge, right? Yeah. If you take philosophically mm. these four options of only the spiritual – only the material, the spiritual material are just one thing, mm. or there's spiritual and material, they're both real and they connect. Those are our four options mm -hmm. for reality, right? Yeah. A Christ-centered biblical worldview has Christ mm. at the center, mm. holding all of them together. He is the fullness of reality, right? Yep. And so our metaphor is that that's been chopped up. We'd have the painting mm. metaphor the chandelier metaphor. And so this piece that has broken off of Kingdom Island, mm -hmm. there's truth. The spiritual realm is real. Yeah. <laughs> we need objective, ideal standards yeah. that we have not made up. Mm -hmm. And good, beautiful, and true, there's something in that, right? Yeah. Like you value that, you appreciate it, mm. and you want to pursue it. I mean, to get cut right to the core, God says, be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> As I am perfect. It's a tough one. But, it's simple, so, but it's tough. But if you're yeah. going to have a perfect God, yeah. what kind of standards will this perfect God have? Yeah, according to who or what. Yeah. Perfect standards. Yeah. Right? And so if we're going to hang out with a perfect God, I mean, so that, that drive, that desire for it, the longing for it even, mm -hmm. to get out of the brokenness and out of the suffering, that's all very natural. Yeah. And we can build an easy bridge. Yeah. An easy bridge saying, yes. We understand the ideal. We believe in a God who is ideal, right? Mm -hmm. The key to idealism, philosophically, and I'm going to do several reminders in all four of these islands. Mm. This is a philosophical approach to worldview. Yeah, it's not comparative religion, mm. nor is it meant to be. Yeah, it's it's actually meant to feed that, or umbrella it, or backdrop it. it mm. It's to support those who want to pursue it. We love I love comparative religion, mm. but this will equip you for that. That being said, then, when we go philosophically, if someone were to only believe the spiritual mm. realm is really real, yeah. what are the natural consequences of that? Yeah. How would they answer the seven questions that are part of the archipelago of questions, right? Mm. And uh, so who is God? Well, if there's only the spiritual and only the ideal, then God is only spiritual. Mm. What are the consequences of that, mm. right? And if the spiritual is the only thing that exists, yet I'm in this physical body, what am I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just, can start seeing where this leads. Yeah. Right? Just waiting to move on. Is that? Yeah. Well, yeah. In some respects, actually, yeah. that would be the, the path. Yeah. Um, Buddhism pulls from this heavily, mm -hmm. right? To escape this nothingness, this mm. non-existence, right? Mm. And so to help people understand the philosophical approach to only believing in the ideal spiritual realm. Mm. I like to call it ideaism. Mm. So this is not going to be a teaching video per se right now. We're trying to keep this tight. No. But I think doing a few minutes to help um, explain the concept yeah. can carry people into reading more about it and mm. learning more about it. And so... If I were to ask you to think of the perfect chair, these mm. are pretty good chairs. Yeah, these are not bad. They're yeah. not bad. Yeah. Right. But if I were to ask you to think of the perfect chair, get the idea of the perfect chair mm. in your brain. Yeah. What would you come up with? Mm. And I, it's it's fun to do this with students because you get the leather, the back, the cup holders, the warmer, yeah. the <laughs> massage chair. You get all those yeah. things. But ultimately, any chair that lands itself like this in the physical realm, what will eventually happen to it? Decay. It'll wear down. Yeah. Decay. And is this perfect? Mm. I mean, it, no flaws? Yeah. Is this the exact chair? You couldn't think of a better chair than this one? Mm. And so how do you? How far do you go with that, right? Yeah. Interestingly, we could all think of the idea 
of a perfect chair. But once we try to make it, all the chair companies, yeah. <laughs> once they bring it down into physical, the physical realm, we lose something. Mm. The longevity, uh, the, the fit, mm. etc. Yeah. Interestingly, if we were to get rid of all the chairs on planet Earth, mm. what still does remain? The ideal image of the chair in our minds. Yeah, and where is yeah. that? Is yeah. it in our mind physically? Mm. And this is where the idealists, philosophically mm. speaking, are going to say, no, that's in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Uh, we, this harkens to Plato for sure. Mm. Right? But the good, the beautiful, and the true yeah. is good, is beautiful, and is true, and will last forever because mm. it is those things and it won't change. Right? Yeah. So that perfect chair exists out there yeah. in that ideal realm. Kind of an untarnished purity because it is not exposed to the imperfections or the decay of earth. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And so you can see then, philosophically, if this was your view of the world, well, then what do you do with the material realm? Mm. First off, it doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, well, wait, how? Yeah. Well, think of great, 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 great grandpa. Mm. Where is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All we are is dust in the wind, you know. <laughs> I'd be like, gone. But the idea mm. of great, 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 great grandpa mm. but it exists, right? Yeah. Hmm. Um, there's plenty to learn there, but I just think that concept, mm -hmm. that's what we're striving for, is right action, as the Buddhist would say. So the thinking perfect thoughts, having perfect behavior, all those things, we're doing the best we can down here, but none of us get it right. Yeah. So we are the image, mm -hmm. the shadow, mm. the, the replica of that perfect ideal standard that exists only out there in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Um, I'll bring it home, you know, to a focal point. Mm. You, know, you, you don't have to close your eyes, but if you were to close your eyes... I will. Yeah, and think of the perfect <laughs> being. You can even say human mm. being, but the perfect human being. Mm. I'll give you a second. Everybody out there. Okay. Mm. I'll, uh, you can open your eyes. Yep. You're welcome to describe this being. Mm. It's my wife. Oh, <laughs> I think that's the nice. only right answer. Well <laughs> I'm allowed played. To give. Well played. And we can, we can even work that in right now. I, <laughs> I think way, any other answer, I'm in trouble. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. But, I, you know, <laughs> people, people will say Jesus, which yeah. is like, okay. Yeah. And that explains that. But mm -hmm. of the thousands of people I've walked this through across the world, in my classrooms, in seminars, mm -hmm. and I, you didn't even do it right here. Did you think of yourself mm. as you were sitting right here? Yeah. No, you right. didn't, right? Because you know you're not what? Perfect. But can we think of that ideal? Now, mm. you becoming your wife, well, you know, that's, <laughs> we're not going to go there. But but the uh, the irony is she would say, no, no, it's not me either. And yeah. It was kind of a joke, but not really. But yeah, you know, I get yeah, you. Yeah. Like, the perfect being, we have all will admit, is not us. Yeah. So then what's our job? Mm. Our jo uh, The perfect being will exist forever. Yeah. We'll think perfect thoughts, mm -hmm. have perfect action, you know, yeah. um, perfect, if embodied, perfect mm. body. But ironically... Bodies fall apart, at least mm. the kind that we know. Yeah. Right? So it's got to be something out there that's spiritual. This is why Buddhists will say that nirvana, you can't give nirvana a hug. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nirvana doesn't talk back when you pray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nirvana is a state of being, yeah. a state of consciousness and mm. awareness. And uh, it's a perfect state of that. Mm. Well, since I am not perfect, you are not perfect, if we want to live forever... What do we need to do? Mm. Become that which will last forever. Yeah. Mm. That means you got to escape this. I got to escape this yeah. into that. Yeah. That's idealism. So you can see where Hinduism pulls from this, but particularly hardcore Buddhism. Yeah. And, and anybody who's striving for perfection, per yeah. se, right? That perfect painting, the perfect dance, the perfect mm. violin. We have that standard, we have the idea. We're trying to strive for it. Mm -hmm. Now, we can see when we look at this, that now, all of a sudden, when we do the chandelier concept, lights mm -hmm. on, lights off, is there good in having an objective standard for perfection? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Sure, <laughs> right? yeah. If we can access it. Is there good to 
you know, have an understanding, even if it's flawed, of the good, the beautiful, and the true. Mm. Yeah. It's so like your initial statement of, I, I want that. I see yeah. it. That, that's natural. Yeah. If that is the only thing that exists, and like a shadow, when we move, the shadow is gone. Mm. If we are just shadows of that and we stop existing when we die, mm. what is what happens to the material realm? Mm. That's a big question. Yeah. So the natural consequences of only believing in the spiritual mm. negates everything that's happening here. It negates the coffee. Yeah. Negates our bodies. Mm -hmm. Negates human interaction. Yeah. Right? And if it doesn't matter at all, then why does it exist at all? Yeah. yeah. Well, if, if you push it to the extreme, does it? Yeah, right. It doesn't even exist. Yeah. And so now we're getting into stuff with, uh, you know, extreme Buddhism where life is an illusion. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, we, we grasp on things that are going to change or break or let us down or disappoint us, especially mm. humans. Yeah. Right? And so you can see how people who would take this to an extreme, how that would directly affect their lives. Mm -hmm. right? um, I, and I think the other thing to consider here is if we have the perfect ideal out there, and everything down here is flawed. And our access to it is through us. Mm. That means our access is what? Mm. Flawed. Yeah. And uh, interestingly, that's why there's countless denominations, yeah. even in the Christian worldview. Yeah. But there's denominations all through Buddhism. And if they have to get perfection, mm. who, which, which one's right? Yeah. And if they're wrong, the, the consequences are huge. Yeah. They're disastrous. Right? Yeah. What if you perfect the wrong kind of perfection? The My idea of it, even if I perfectly embody it, what if it was your perfection yeah. that was actually the one that gets me access to the yeah. divine? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we can even fast forward a little bit when we start playing out the lights on, lights off a little bit too, mm. which you can learn more about through reading and um, connecting online and the workbook. Mm. But... A simple statement in a conversation that I had with a Buddhist was they 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 were wondering why I wouldn't want to strive for perfection, mm. and I had to, you know, acknowledge. Well, I I know I'm not perfect, mm. and he actually said, "None of us are perfect. That's the whole point. We've got to strive for it." Yeah. I said, "Well, if the goal is perfection, mm. in order for me to perfectly achieve perfection, I would need." to be perfect in order to do it perfectly. Mm. And I know I'm not perfect, Yeah, which means I actually can't yeah. perfectly do it. And there was this. There was an awkward pause. Yeah. Because it, it falls apart. Yeah. And so that's, so the light on, the bridge mm. is, yes, spiritual realm really real. Yeah. It's perfect. It's ideal. It's beautiful. We think of heaven as being a perfect place. Yeah. Right? But when we negate down here, when we don't have a means mm. to become perfect because we are imperfect, yeah. it gets really complex. Mm. You, can, you can see in Buddhism people striving and striving and striving for, for, for perfection. I mm. can't even say it perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Good but luck. We'll even add in mm. a little bit of religion here. Mm. If you have to strive for it and you don't make it and then you cease to exist, can you see why the mm. religions that pull from this have come up with reincarnation. Mm. It gives you another what? Another chance. Another chance. Yeah. And another mm. chance. Mm. And another chance. <laughs> <laughs> Till you're finally perfect. Yeah. Wow. And, and then here's another catch on this with the lights off aspect of it. Are you perfect right now? No. Am I perfect right now? Mm. So that which is perfect is not me. Yeah. So in order for me to become that, I have to let go of who? Myself. So you don't exist as perfection right now and mm. will cease to exist if you don't make it. Mm. But if you do make it, it won't be you who's there. Yeah, so interesting. You, you cease to exist as what? Huh. <laughs> so you can see that the yeah. shadow is here. The light's off on yeah. idealism. When you chop out that hmm. material realm, when you chop out a connection with God, a relationship with God, an otherness, yeah. you lose a lot. Yeah. But at the same time, we want to build a bridge mm. and respect the belief in the spiritual mm -hmm. and the need for the ideal. Mm. That's good. Right. That's very good stuff. There's I, so much more on idealism. Yeah. But I think it, this allows for us to start the conversation. Yeah. 
launch into digging to find out more, reading more and learning yeah. more and creating conversations. Yep. It's fascinating to do the seven questions with someone who claims to be a Buddhist or yeah. an idealist. Rarely you're going to find someone who says, I'm an idealist because yeah. it's a philosophical principle. Yeah. Right. But to have those conversations with a Hindu or a Buddhist and how do they answer the questions of morality yep. or what happens when you die, yeah. it, it speaks for itself. Yeah. Good. That's very helpful. Very good instruction. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go tell my wife she's not perfect. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs>